Well hey friends, it's Mandy with Sweetly Home and today in this video I'm going to share with you the 2018 Power Sheets from Laura Casey and Cultivate What Matters. I have been a Power Sheets user since 2014. In fact, I actually have my 2014 Power Sheets to show you. I put them in this binder because at the time they simply just came in a pack of sheets. There was no binding. They came pre-punched so that you could stick them in a binder. I believe at the time there were binders that you could put them in, but being the cheapy that I am, I opted to put it in my own binder. I actually have last year's power sheets as well. These are 2017 and these were the six month planners. Um, the thing about the power sheets are that they are an intentional goal setting tool. This is not like a day planner, it's not even a monthly planner. This is a tool that you use to craft the goals and all of the things that matter most to you to put them all together and then those are the things that you end up putting in your calendar, in your to-do list, and things of that nature. So in your power sheets, you're not actually getting like a calendar, you are getting a system that will help you unearth and uncover those dreams, those goals, those things that your heart really wants to pursue, and it helps you to be able to put actionable steps in place to make those things happen. I've been following Laura Casey, gosh, since maybe like 2013, I think, um, maybe even before that. She is probably one of those people that I would consider like a mentor. <laughs> she doesn't even know I exist, but um, I learned so much from her. Um, I find her her books, her Instagram feed, her blog posts, her everything so encouraging and while she inspires me as a person, she also, I feel, just points my heart to the Lord because that is where her heart is and everything that she does is to bring glory to the Lord and um, I just absolutely love the things that she shares. So I wanted to share with you the 2018 Power Sheets. I got the one year uh, layout. These start going into effect January 1st. However, she is going to do a, um, a goal setting kind of walkthrough with Power Sheets. It listed here, I can't remember if it's the 4th or the 8th. I think it's the 4th, but I'll have that information here. I'm going to go ahead and just dive into the Power Sheets right now because it's really long. They actually added a bunch of pages this year. And I also have the goal setting sticker book that I'm going to share with you. Um, so you can take a peek at that as well. Let's dive in to the 2018 power sheets. Okay, so on top I have got the goal setting sticker book. We will go through this at the end. But inside of your package, you are going to get some information from Laura. So her website is cultivatewhatmatters.com, and um, that is their shop. Uh, you can also find her at laracasey.com. She does a lot of live broadcasting on Instagram and Facebook, so you can get all of the links to where she's broadcasting. Um, you can search hashtag PowerSheets. Um, and this information, this is a bit about her uh, and her kiddos. They're so sweet and cute. They adopted baby Sarah, um, and they have Josh, and they have Gracie. And then you're going to get this postcard, 2018. Let's do this. So I purchased the 2018 One Year Goal Planner. Last year, I missed the boat, and I got the Six Month Planner. I'd initially planned to get the One Year, um, and then it sold out as I waited to order it. So I opted to go ahead and get the One Year. Now, the other ones come in really beautiful colors. They come in a white, they come in this kind of like bright pink color, and then they also come in a blue kind of aqua color. And then the One Year is all of the petals. So when you open it up, there is some goodies inside. There's just, you know, this cardboard here. Um, and then Laura has this beautiful handwriting, very distinctive, and you can actually buy some of these cards in the Cultivate What Matters shop. This one says, you know all those things you've always wanted to do? You should go do them. 
and this is actually a postcard so you could send it to somebody um, or you could frame it and keep it for yourself. Next you've got a little card that says my word of the year and so the idea here is that you would write your one word of the year and keep this in a prominent place again on your um, bulletin board or at your desk or you can even kind of adhere it into your power sheets um, and then it has a little hashtag power sheet so you can share that with other users. And then lastly there is another um, card It says dream it, plan it, live it. And then on the back is some more information about power sheets. Okay, so here we go. There's a bit of a, there's a note from Lara here in the beginning. And oh my gosh, I love this because this is like gold embossing. I mean, maybe it's not embossing, but it's, it's not just, it's, then here she's got, what if today is the day that everything changes? And this is a place where you can put your name and the day that you started your power sheets. And these sheets right here, you could actually even, you know, cut this out and you could frame this. It says, the side here says, it's time to flourish. And then you get into a lot of your prep work with your power sheets. Um, and there are going to be a lot of things that are going to help you unearth these goals. So one thing that Laura always says is that she wants you to get messy with these. This is not something that you just write very neatly and that you, you know, get all the messy writing out on a notebook piece of paper. She wants you to get messy here. And this is what she is encouraging you to do. It even says get messy. That is the one thing that she really encourages you to do. In fact, with her power sheets, or no, um, a girl that's in her shop, um, that's on her team, Jess. Jess always does attending list Tuesday, and we'll get into that later um, on what the attending list is, but on attending list Tuesday, um, Jess broadcasted that when she opened her power sheets, after a few weeks, she I think she spilled orange juice or something on them, and she was really tempted to go get a new set of power sheets, but instead she kept it because she realized this is where life is happening and messy work is happening here. And that's real life, spilling things and your kids scribbling on stuff. Like this is not meant to be a pristine thing. This is meant to get in there and dig in and unearth some things and to get messy. So throughout the power sheets, there are going to be all these like really encouraging notes and quotes from Laura, and you're going to go through some prep work where you're going to get to understand yourself a little bit better. And there's going to be a lot of unearthing that you do. This is going to be stuff that really requires some heart looking at. You are going to be digging deep into what's inside of you, inside of your heart, and you are going to get this out on paper. So then we come into the cultivated life evaluation. You're going to rate like how you're really feeling about these different areas, your health, your friends, your spouse or significant other, your family, recreation, spiritual and personal growth, and your finances. And there's lots of information here that's going to take you through how to do these sheets. This is not something you're just left with to do on your own. Laura actually has a Facebook group dedicated to power sheets as well. Um, and so you can join that group and see how others are using their power sheets. And again, uh, Laura or Laura every month shares her monthly goals on her blog. She also shares a lot of her attending list on her Instagram stories and Instagram feed. And same with the other gals who work at the Cultivate um, What Matters shop. If you go on their Instagram, you're going to find all kinds of help and information in filling out your power sheets. But you don't even need that because it's all laid out here for you. There is a process of letting go. You're letting go of certain um, things to help you fill out your power sheets and to unearth what matters most to you. This is one of my favorite qu quotes from Lara. It says, comparison isn't just the thief of joy. It's the thief of everything. Keep your eyes on your purposeful path. I actually have that um, written on an Erin Condren uh, planner, I have keep your eyes on your purposeful path, Lara Casey, because that means so much. Celebrate others. Celebrate progress. Progress, not perfection. Cultivate gratitude over comparison. Gratitude, gratitude turns what we have into more than enough. Just such encouragement here. 
You're going to meet your fears in, on this sheet. Um, fears hold us back from making what matters happen. And you're going to get all of these things out onto paper, out of yourself and into paper, onto the paper. And I love that throughout the book that there are these like gold sheets. And this isn't just like font. This is like actual like gold leafing embossing type stuff. It's gorgeous. And again, there's just more prep work. And this is what I believe that Laura is going to go through at, on that workshop in early December um, and helping all of us fill out our power sheets. Dreams become decisions when you cultivate them. And again, some of these sheets you could actually like cut out and frame, and that's what I love so much. And I love this sheet, What Fires Me Up. What are the things that fuel you to make what matters happen? And do more of what fires you up. Um, down here at the bottom, um, there are they have like an optional step and that, that's another thing that I'm really loving about these power sheets is that there are other things that you can do even outside of power sheets to help you make what matters happen. So this optional step is make a Pinterest board of images that will inspire a purposeful year. Include power sheets in your board so we can search for and follow each other's boards. Like I love that they are building in community with these and some more quotes. This is where you're going to work on choosing your word for the year. And my most purposeful year. This sheet, um, you are kind of filling in the blanks with all this prep work that you have done here. This is where you are really going to kind of allow those things that rose to the top um, to be put out on this page. And this is where you are going to begin to um, start learning what or figuring out what your goals are going to be. It's okay to grow slow. Okay, and then we're moving into the goals section of the planner, and this is a nice, beautiful, thick cardstock um, divider. And you're going to lay down some good goals in this section. This is a brainstorming section where you're going to brainstorm your goals. And again, you're going to want to get messy. It says, first use this page to get messy and put some ideas down. I know I tend to be a perfectionist and I want everything to look really nice and really pretty. But this section is where you're going to get messy and you're just going to brainstorm and get those thoughts down. Draw pictures, use some of the stickers that are actually included in the planner or included um, in the sticker book itself. Use washi get messy. And then another beautiful color page for everything. There is a season. Now let's turn those goal ideas into goals. And again, more information to just help your mind and your heart um, lay all of that stuff out. So you're not left on your own when it comes to this planner. You are being walked through a systematic system of steps to help you unearth those goals and make what matters most happen. So then you have a section for your 2018 goals, and so there's five here and five over here, so that leaves spots for 10 goals. And then you've got your action plan worksheets, and this is going to walk you through what these action plan worksheets are going to look like, and it tells you exactly how to do that. And then so you have those action plans for uh, each of your goals. So let's look at this just a little bit further. So you've got a spot to write your goal, why it's your goal, um, the positive effect taking action on this goal may have, how will this goal change you and others, and then you've got a spot for some encouraging words. How will I feel at the end of this year having made progress on this goal? How will I celebrate making progress on or completing this goal? How will I know I accomplished or made progress on this goal or what progress looks like on this goal? Resources or people to ask for guidance. That's a great spot. And then over here, you've got your starting steps. What are some small, specific, realistic, physical ideas for taking action on this goal? You can add these to your attending list throughout the next year. So again, it's really breaking your goal down. Whatever that big goal is, or maybe it's a small goal, whatever that is, it's helping you to build steps in to make 
that happen. And then you've got a spot for some notes. And I believe this will probably go through all 10 of the goals. Yes, all 10. And then you've got a space for your action plan overview and it goes through each of the months of the year. And again, some information on how to do all of that. Then we have another nice quote from Laura. And then we head into the breakdown of your months. So again, really nice, thick dividing pages. The um, months are listed here on the side and they are written in gold. So we're gonna start with January and these all look the same. Sorry if this is kind of getting, <laughs> there we go. Um, so we're gonna prepare well. Um, so we've got a section for on my calendar, notable events like travel, meetings, appointments, birthdays, and holidays. And then important to-dos, tasks or projects I want to get done. And I'm excited for goals I'm excited to attend this month, travel, relationship building, things like that. And then my one focal goal or word for this month. So you've got this sheet to kind of lay out your January or February, whatever month it is you are working on. Now, one thing that they've done new this year is they have wild card pages. And I believe there are 20 different pages that you can download from the Cultivate What Matters website. And those are for specific areas. I believe there's one for meal planning and budgeting. Um, I think... I can't remember what all they are, but I know meal planning and budgeting are one of them. I'm sure there's probably one for um, health and fitness, and there's 20 different ones. But anyways, try a wildcard page. Make this page work for you and your individual needs. Download free printables and planning sheets at cultivatewhatmatters.com slash wildcard. So those are free pages that can help you, again, unearth good goals in specific areas of your life. So this page, I love that the power sheets really help you to let go of some things. Because let's face it, we all harbor a lot of stuff. Um, and the power sheets really help you to clear the mental and heart clutter, as it says. Um, clear the mental and heart clutter. This will help you move forward into creating a new month with clarity. And then you just get out the things that are weighing on your mind. And there's um, tips in here, progress not perfection tip, and lots of information here. Um, make what matters happen this month. So you're going to write out some things. You're going to simplify. You're going to sort. And again, it's just helping you to lay out what matters. Okay, so we're going to talk about the tending list. So your tending list is basically a list that you keep each month to help you make what matters happen and to make progress on those goals. Little by little progress adds up. So here we've got the top tending tips and there's a bunch of tips here um, to help you do your tending list. Now this is your actual tending list. It's perforated so that you can rip it neatly out of your power sheets and keep it in front of you. Basically Laura says that you are not going to be looking at the cover of your power sheets. If you are actively using your power sheets, these are going to be open and you are going to be in them. Um, that's why they're on a spiral so that you can flip them over and dig into them. Your tending list is what you are going to rip out and keep in front of you. I believe that when um, Laura has shown her desk and her tending list is always right on her desk and it's covered in color and words and stickers and she's working on her progress little by little each month. So for your tending list you've got a spot for encouraging words, your monthly goals, and then over here are bars and basically you just color in each bit of a bar as you progress on that goal each month. Then you've got an area for weekly goals and you've got five weeks out of the month and then you're able to kind of check off each week if you have worked towards that weekly goal and then you've got a spot for daily goals and it goes all the way you've got um, numbered boxes here all the way from uh, the first to the 31st um, and then you can check off those as well as you've worked on those daily goals 
And then on the back, again, it's talking about the wild card pages that you can work on. And then you've got your month in review. And it says, a content life happens when we cultivate gratitude. And that's one thing that Lara is always talking about, is about gratitude. So, um, in this area, you can get your gratitude out. You can talk about um, someone that you're grateful for and why. Um, there's a couple spots for those. I'm choosing grace over guilt about progress I'm celebrating, even if it was small. Goals that are going well. Um... A favorite memory verse from this month, a good lesson I learned, what I'm saying yes to this month, and what I'm saying no to next month, or, yeah, next month. Um, so that's great to have that um, that monthly look. Okay, so then it go, it's going to be the same thing for all the months of the year. You've got all of your attending lists. And go to September. Okay, I forgot to do something here. All right. So these are also broken down into quarters. So you've got a section here for spring, um, and there's that make it make a mess happening again. So in the spring, in spring, new life appears out of what felt bleak. It's a time of planting new seeds, blooming and celebrating. After winter, spring always comes. This is your fresh start. So Lara recently wrote a book called Cultivate. And it is all about how each of the seasons represent different periods of our life. You've got winter where um, things are quiet and you're laying things down and it's a time of rest. Um, fall is kind of that time of sometimes kind of death and um, things being laid down. Spring is the time of um, seeds and blooming and, and as it says, celebrating. And summer, um, you know, is a time of like, growth and um, newness and, you know, planting and um, things are growing in gardens and things like that. Anyways, it's, that is kind of the theme of the power sheets as well as they walk you through that. So anyways, at the different seasons, there are different um, power sheets that will walk you through those seasons as well. So let's just look at spring. In spring, you're going to clear the clutter um, and this is a checklist. So you're going to uh, do some physical things. Uh, this, so this is internet clutter. Try a social media free weekend. Gut your social media feeds and blog lists. Unsubscribe from emails. Organize and simplify your, your computer desktop. Turn off the notifications that distract you. And then you've got a spot to work on some physical clutter. And then heart clutter and some decision clutter. Um... And this is a spot where they're going to ask you to make a social media statement. So use social media in your times of connectivity on purpose. Write out a mission statement for how and why you will use them well. Cut out this page and post it near your computer or desk. If you find yourself mindlessly using social media again, check your motives and get back to living on purpose in all things. I love that so much. So... You've got, um, here is a three-month goal refresh, and I really love that they're taking that time to check in um, every three months to make sure that you're on track and to help you refocus. So they've got um, these sheets, again, where you've got your health, your friends, your spouse, or significant other, family, finances, spiritual and personal growth, work and recreation. You can rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10, why you gave that rating, and what I'm saying yes to, and what I'm saying no to in that particular area. And then you've got a goal refresh. Now, one thing that Laura says is that some of the goals that you made in January are not going to be the same goals that you have, say, in August or even in, like, October. Goals change and things change and new things come into our, our life. And sometimes we achieve that goal and sometimes it's time to make a new one. So there are um, spots to make new goals and to rewrite your goals with fresh words or move on to new goals or a combination of both. Okay, you'll have to forgive me if you can hear my washing machine in the background. It's just on the other side of this wall. I apologize. Okay, so let's go a little bit further. So you've got your summer. Um, your summer list. You're going to dive in. And this is all about a fruitful summer. And here, um, they're pointing out one of the resources they have about their fruitful friendships. This is a guide for um, cultivating 
friendships and it helps you to develop better friendships. Um, I think it was last summer or the summer before, uh, Laura really did a summer focus on friendships and it was awesome. And they ended up sort of making it into, um, a guidebook that you can purchase to, you know, help you be a good friend. I mean, some of us <laughs> struggle in that area. Um, and some of us just want to learn to be a better friend. And so, they've got that. Um, and so this, the summer, it looks like it's focused on friendships um, let go of friendship guilt, be the invitation. Don't wait for the invitations to come to you. Be the invitation. Send one summer invite to a friend. Um, write your summer goals. Don't live on a list. Get out there. I love that. So each season will be a different focus. And again, you've got your three month goal refresh and an opportunity to relook at your goals and to write something new if you need to. And again, on the back of these sort of blank looking pages, they talk about the wild card page. So anytime that you come across these, you could actually go ahead and try a new wild card page. Um, rather than doing them all at once, focus on one area at a time, you know, if that, if that works best for you. Um, so this, we're moving into kind of the summer months and they're bright. Um, so we've got July, August, and September, and then we move into fall, and savor the season you're in. Isn't that such, <laughs> such a good thing? Here it says, savoring cultivates contentment, and we're going to slow down to savor, and you're going to write down all the things that you want to savor this month. In the fall, our crops bear fruit and bounty to share. We reap the harvest, uprooting our fields and clearing out life before the stillness of winter arrives. Once again, fall is a season of savoring what matters and cultivating gratitude. Isn't that so true? I'm really going to be looking forward to going to, through these um, these sheets for the different seasons. Um, they did not have that in the previous year's power sheet, so that's going to be fun, at least in the six month, maybe in the one year, but I, I'm pretty certain that this is a new thing. Okay, so that brings us to December. Okay, and then I'm going to share with you the end. Okay, so you got your December month in a review, and then you're going to celebrate 2018. So you're going to celebrate your imperfect progress and take a look back at the last 12 months. Whether you check things off or not, look for little by little progress, not perfection. And that's one of Lara's biggest things is this little by little progress adds up to big things. Um, and it's not about perfection. So you're going to write a highlight from each month of the year. And that's a really great sheet to kind of focus on. And you could even work on this throughout the year as well so that those progress highlights will be fresh in your mind and you can fill them out on this sheet, you know, at the end of January, at the end of March, and so that they are fresh in your mind. And then we are going to celebrate. So you're going to celebrate 2018. What did you learn this year and what you're grateful for? And then the best is yet to come. When I'm 80, I want to. And that, again, that's another thing that Laura likes to say. When you are 80 years old and you're sitting, um, and you're sitting there and you're thinking back on your life, what do you want your life to represent? What do you want to have done? What do you want people to say about you? Think about that now so you can make that happen. One small step that you're taking now to make that life a reality. I'm excited about and what goals from the beginning of the year did you make progress on? And you've got a space to write that out. And then it ends with a note from Laura. And then we head into some of the stickers. So I'm gonna flip this over so you can see a little bit better. Now these stickers are included in each of the power sheets. You've got some page flags, lots of check marks, um, high fives and hearts. What matters most, lots of those. What you're grateful for, grateful for this. Um, lots of those. Again, lots more what matters most. I love this. And then some of the Cultivate. Um, this is their logo, this um, leaf pattern. And then arrows. And I'm going to flip it, and there's a lot more here. 
helps a lot to more page flags, high fives, I did it, hooray, I'm ready, um, progress, make it happen. And these actually could be put into your planner as well. So you can be reminded to do your tending list on, you know, tending list Tuesday, um, to look at your tending list to make sure that you are coming back to your power sheets and going through each month, each week, and working on daily progress towards your goals. So that's kind of, kind of thing that you could stick inside of your planner. So and there is that. And then you've got another piece of cardboard and... And the last page, and that beautiful quote, you know all those things you wanted to do, you should go do them. That's right. So that is a look at the 2018 Power Sheets. So now I want to take you through the goal setting sticker book. And I'll be honest, I haven't even opened this yet. I opened it just to film this video, and I'm going to be looking at it for the first time with you. So I'm excited to kind of dive into this. So this is a thick book. I believe it was $12, and there are a lot of stickers in this little guy, so it's a really great value. Okay. All right, so it starts out with some information. Um, <laughs> okay, stickers make life more colorful and fun, but this ultimate intentional sticker book takes it one step further. These stickers have the potential to make life more fun and intentional, too. Use them in your power sheets, planner, or calendar to remind you of important dates and adventures you want to have and to take action on what's most important to you. At the start of each year, season, or month, set yourself up for success by using these stickers to make them more meaningful. Use them to prioritize and pre prepare intentionally for everyday life, holidays, and important goals. And remember, little by little progress adds up. So, okay. So we've got um, lots of color-coded page flags, and that's what it's talking about, is to color code, um, and it provides you with lots of opportunity to do that. So I love that with their products, you are never left to just try and figure things out and make up a plan on your own. They give you information on how to best use these tools so that your money is spent well and you are not floundering. Um, I just, I don't know. I really love that there's so much information about how to use these well. So you've got more um, color coding options and uh, please use these dots to connect your year yearly go goals to your monthly, weekly, and daily goals on each month's tending list or use them however you like. So lots of little dots and more lots of little dots and more dots. Okay, and these are like really thick. Okay, okay, so then you've got this sheet where you've got all kinds of little things to stick in your planner or on your power sheets, little alarm clocks, bill due, don't forget, remembers, page flags, appointments, meetings. And on the next page, you're going to set yourself up for success. Stay accountable to your goals and what matters most by putting important reminders in your planner like power sheet prep days, Set a date with yourself a few days before the end of the month to complete your power sheet pages for the upcoming month. So there's lots of power sheet prep flags, um, due dates, date nights, and these stars. So again, put these in your planner so that you remember to do your power sheets. Okay, so this is plan refreshment. Be proactive and take care of your well-being and others. Don't let your schedule fill up with too many commitments before you plan for rest and fueling. You will be more productive and energetic when you prioritize refreshment, even if it's small. So, <laughs> I love these. Um, these are ventures, day off, rest, and these hearts so that you can remember to take care of you. Because if you aren't taking care of you, who else is? Okay. And then this is where you can plan for refreshment. There are movie night stickers. There's coffee dates, play dates. I love these ones with the iPhone. It says, put the phone down social media free weekends, and lots of family time stickers. Those are awesome. And then um, stickers to keep track from happy memories to little by little steps forward in your goals. Mark them with these fun stickers. So you've got hearts and stars, check marks, um, canceled stickers, and some arrows. You've got a sheet for your priorities and lots of importance, must do, I love this, 
these gold stickers for top priorities. Um, lots of this is important. Grateful for this. And again, more top priority stickers, make it happen, must do's, and more must do's. And y'all, this book is so thick and it's almost difficult to turn the pages. It's such nice quality. Okay, and then this is a spot to prioritize wellness. So you've got um, dumbbells and you've got grocery carts so you can plan some um, good food for your menu plan, go grocery shopping. Um, you've got these um, leaf stickers. Now for the leaf stickers, I would almost even put these in my planner to denote when uh, Laura or anyone from the Cultivate shop is going live. And um, sometimes they schedule those things out or they'll have a webinar. So I would stick these in my planner with the date and time that they're gonna be live. And then you've got these really cute little water bottles to remind you to drink water. So then there's stickers for your tending list. So you've got um, Simplify, I Made Progress. I mean, these are all I Made Progress. And you've got Watering Cans and Sunshines. And then you've got a spot for Cultivate Contentment. Need a reminder to stop and smell the roses? Here you go. And I love that there are these roses here. And then these are hearts, and these are quote bubbles, and then these say, this matters. And then you've got some motivational stickers. So lots in Laura's handwriting. Um, you can do it. Um, anything is possible. High fives. I'm grateful for. Awesome. Just lots of really encouraging things um, to help you celebrate your success that you are making progress on these goals. Again, sorry for the washing machine, y'all. Okay, so then we're going to celebrate daily life. You've got some airplanes, and you've got off we go, up, up, and away. Suitcases, sunglasses, cars, and then you've got little people here, babies. Oh my gosh, those babies are so cute. Um, and oh, happy day, moving day. Lots of great things. Oh, the camper, that's awesome. The old way to camp every summer, and that would be perfect to use for that. And then more celebrating daily life. So lots of high fives, and <laughs> these are funny. These are um, ha 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 ha, um, books and coffees, cameras, um, envelopes, paw prints, heart eyes. I love, love the heart eyes. I love to say that. I'm all heart eyes over this, and some smiley faces. And then um, stickers to celebrate every tiny victory. So you've got cake and bows, party hats, buntings, and horns, stars, and exclamation points. And then celebrate the season you're in. So these are more seasonal stickers. Um, for everything, there is a reason and a season to celebrate. I love the snowman. It's cute. The strawberry. Oh my goodness. These are awesome. So, wow. This is a amazing little sticker book. Again, it's only $12. You get incredible value for that. And the pages are thick and super high quality. I mean, it was really difficult to turn those pages, guys. So there you have your 2018 year-long power sheets. They do have a six-month set available, and those are undated, so um, it's not going to tell you what months. You can dive in at any point in time. Uh, if you do want to do a year-long, it's best to get the year-long planner because it is cheaper. Um, but you could do the two six months if you feel like that's what you want to do. I can't say enough good about the power sheets. They're a wonderful and amazing tool. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And I will leave any information that I have to Laura's information, the Cultivate What Matters shop, where you can get these power sheets, and some of the other resources that we mentioned here today. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and a look at the 2018 Cultivate What Matters power sheets.